السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو اینادر کمپیوٹر سائنس لیکچر سو وی ور ڈسکسنگ سیکشن ٹو پوائنٹ ون اور ویل رادر ٹو ایز اے ہول بیکاز اٹ ڈزنٹ ریئلی ہیو این ٹو پوائنٹ ٹو اینڈ ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا ٹائپس آف نیٹ ورک ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ٹرانسمیشن میڈیا so what exactly is the transmission media transmission media is the material or transmission media is the medium that carries the flow of information in form of bits throughout a network from one place to another place inside a network it is a path between the transmitter and the receiver or the path between the sender and the receiver or the path between the source and the destination it's up to you however you want to call it it can both be wired or wireless wireless network communication is in fo form of electromagnetic signals whereas characteristics and the quality of data transmission are determined by the characteristics of the medium and the signal in wired media medium characteristics is more important whereas in wireless media signal characteristic is more important in a copper based network bits will be electrical signals in a fiber based network bits will be light pulses in a wireless network bits will be carried by the waves the electromagnetic waves through the air or the atmosphere bandwidth means uh, greater the bandwidth of a signal the higher the data rate can be achieved bandwidth basically means how many bits can be carried by a signal or uh, a or uh, a pulse at a given time transmission impairments these are hindrances these are limits which uh, hinder a transmission which hinder a signal or the distance that uh, these are limitations that uh, me that uh, that that uh, that stops or uh, that reduces the distance a signal can travel these include attenuation and interference etc interference competing signals in overlapping frequency bands can distort or wipe out a signal which is known as interference attenuation means the loss of the strength of a signal in a ne inside a networking cable or connection another hindrance is noise it's not really a part of our syllabus but uh, it is a network hindrance noise is when uh, due to electrical in, uh, induction extra bits or information can can be added to our traveling signal then we have the number of receivers the more number of receivers we have inside a network uh, there would be more attenuation there would be more distortion and there would be more noise and there would be uh, more uh, limitations on the distance of uh, the, the distance of how long a signal can travel or the, a limitation on the data rate which is possible because every device that you connect with your network devour some network resources and every device introduces its own interference into the network so these four are supposed to be the transmission impairments next we have the types of transmission media we can have two types of transmission media the conducted or guided media and the wireless or unguided media the conducted media or the guided media uses a conductor such as a wire or a fiber optic cable to move the signal from sender to receiver whereas the wireless or unguided media uses radio waves of different frequencies and they do not need a single wire or a cable to transmit the signals so uh, in guided media we can have twisted pair we can have quads 
coaxial cable or we can have fiber optic cable whereas for unguided media we have different forms of electromagnetic waves. The first uh, thing we have in our syllabus is the twisted pair cable. It is the oldest, least expensive and most commonly used media around the world. It contains a pair of insulated wires twisted together to reduce susceptibility to interference. It can transmit both digital and analog signals. However, if you are using twisted pair cable in your network, you are going to need repeaters every 2 to 3 kilometers for digital signals and 5 to 6 kilometers for uh, analog or electrical signals. It comes in two variants. STP and UTP, the shielded twisted pair and the unshielded twisted pair. In a shielded twisted pair or the STP, every pair of wires inside the twisted pair cable is wrapped with a metallic foil or a braid to insulate the pair from electromagnetic interference and it is Co more costly so it is used by uh, it is normally used by commercial companies only for their networks inside every twisted pair cable there are eight wires which are twisted around each other uh, not around each other basically that uh, they are twisted every two each each pair there are four pairs of four pairs and total eight wires and every pair or every uh, or uh, every two wires are twisted around each other have creating four twisted pairs all together inside the twisted pair cable in a shielded twisted pair all of those four twisted pairs are individually wrapped in aluminium foil or a braid as well as added security whereas in a unshielded twisted pair the um, there is no individual wrapping around every twisted pair the there is just one single rubber coating or plastic cover collectively on all four pairs in this diagram i know the, it is showing five pairs but generally we have four pairs inside twisted pair cable they are less costly so they are more commonly used by home users for their networking needs advantages overall Twisted pair is inexpensive and readily available. It is flexible and lightweight and it is easy to work with and install. Disadvantages, susceptibility to interference and noise, even if you are using shielded STP, shielded twisted pair. There is attenuation problem for analog repeaters needed every 5 to 6 kilometers. For digital, you need repeaters for every 2 to 3 kilometers and it has alert relatively lower bandwidth than other forms of transmission media the next we have is known as coaxial cable or coaxial cable or coaxial cable however you want to pronounce it it is the most versatile form of transmission media available as it can be used in lands it can be used for tv cables it can be used for long distance telephone communication it can be used for vcr to tv connections and so on its noise immunity is very good. It has higher bandwidth capacity and it needs repeaters or amplifiers every few kilometers. Basically, it is also copper based. So it has roughly the same limitations as twisted pair. It For digital uh, signals, it needs repeaters every two to three kilometers and for analog, it can be five to six kilometers. It has an inner conductor surrounded by a braided mesh. Both conductors share a common center axle, hence the term coaxial or coaxial. But it has better shielding which allows for longer cables and higher transfer rates. It has higher bandwidth. It can uh, take up it can uh, carry around 10,800 voice communications or conversations at a single time. It has that much higher bandwidth. It is much less susceptible to interference as it ha as around the copper core, there is a very thick insulating material that is surrounded by a braided outer conductor and then finally a protective plastic covering. 
so its uh, noise immunity and is very good or interference immunity is very good it is mostly replaced now by optic fiber high attenuation rate makes it expensive over long distance and it is very bulky these the last two points are the disadvantages La then we have the fiber optic the fiber optic is a flexible thin very pure glass or plastic fiber capable of conducting optical rays it is uh, a few to few hundred micrometers in thickness it has very uh, extremely high bandwidth capable of delivering greater than or equal to 2 gigabits per second it has very high noise immunity and it is resistant to electromagnetic interference as well it does not radiate energy hence it cannot cause interference in nearby wires it is very lightweight and it needs repeaters every 10 or 100 kilometers away this is the internal structure of a fiber optic in the middle we have a core that is made up of pure glass or plastic then we have some cladding and finally we have a plastic jacket and this is how in light waves travel inside that plastic or glass fiber norm we can have a single core fiber optic as well as multi core fiber optic as well in a multi core fi fiber optic cable we usually have uh, uh, is some metallic or thick plastic rod in the middle uh, in order for the strength and firmness of the cable whereas it is surrounded by multiple fiber optic strands which are then surrounded by some cladding and ultimately a protective coat now you don't really need to remember the inside uh, structure of a fiber optic this is just for your general knowledge fiber optics are very difficult to tap so they have very high security but it also means that if you want to expand your network it is going to be very difficult for you the network requires a light source to work as data is uh, sent and received in form of light rays or light pulses advantages they have greater capacity higher bandwidth they have a smaller size and they are lighter in weight they have lower attenuation their immunity to environmental interference is very high they are highly secure due to tap difficulty and lack of signal radiation then we have the disadvantages they are very expensive over short distance they require highly skilled installers as a unskilled worker cannot deal with them the unskilled worker is just going to damage the fiber optic or break it off adding additional nodes is very difficult and not an easy task here is a chart to compare different forms of wired or guided media uh, there are certain factors cost bandwidth attenuation interference and need for repeaters for twisted pair cost is lowest for coaxial cable it is higher and for fiber optic it is the highest the bandwidth is the same in twisted pair it is lowest in coaxial cable it is higher and it is highest in fiber optic attenuation affects twisted pair coaxial cable is also affected at a very high rate and fiber optic is least affected interference is worse in twisted pair it is less problematic in coaxial cable and it is almost non-existent in fiber optics the need for repeaters is more often in twisted pair and coaxial cable but very less often in fiber optics as we have discussed above then we have the wireless media which is the alternative to cabling the three options are radio waves microwaves and infrared which can be used to connect computers together uh, which are all examples of electromagnetic radiation the only difference between them is their wavelength or the frequency okay so where you would need wireless networking and where you would need wired networking if you want freedom of movement for the users then you have to go for wi uh, wireless networking as users can access and uh, move around freely whereas in wired network users location is limited they have to sit somewhere with a wire plugged into their laptop or systems sharing a file is easier with wireless networks as you do not need to 
a lot of cabling to do it however in a wired network it is less convenient but it has better security or better speed transfer speed is often faster cabling you require very less cabling in wireless networks but way a lot of cable is required and ports are required in wired network obviously for businesses dealing with public wireless network is a better option so you can provide wi-fi to your customers so it it can increase your sales and customer satisfaction for businesses which do not deal with which do not have uh, which do not need to do public dealing such as indoor offices or closed compartments software houses etc wired networks are better connection speed wireless uh, networks have slower speed wired networks have faster speed security is less in wired networks and uh, security is higher in wired network as they are difficult to tap in both bandwidth and information can sometimes be accessed in a wireless network but it is not e easily accessible in wired networks the setup cost for upgrading to a wireless network can be difficult and expensive uh, although it is kind of the same for wired network however uh, sometimes you need slightly more um, what you uh, slightly more settings and slightly more technical knowledge and expertise to set up a wireless network as compared to a wired network so this completes our uh, topic of transmission media. I hope you have understood it well and uh, I'll be ending my today's lecture at this point. Uh, inshallah, we'll be starting the hardware requirements for network in our next lecture. So stay tuned. If you, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or comment them below. Uh, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And if you need these notes and uh, printed form you can just use the link given in the description below i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care allah hafiz